What is going on there guys, Kempi here. In the recent days, the fantastic news that the Glazers are looking to sell Man U has come out and a potential buyer is Apple and the unlimited money that comes with. Today, we're gonna to be doing an FM23 experiment, going years into the future to see if we can finally bring the good old Fergie glory days back to United. This is a simulation, so Ten Hag is gonna start in charge as the boy. I'll show you the finances with a fake manager. We'll get Simon with Ten Hag and see how he does with his tricky reds. If you guys are brand new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. We do challenges like this all the time. There is also a long-term Wrexham save going on, so make sure to give that a watch. It should be up there. If I haven't put it up there, blame me. Go on the playlist on the channel and you can find it. Subscribe to the channel, as I said, but without further ado, let's show you what we've done with Manchester United. Apple have taken over Manchester United and we have given United the best facilities in the land. 20 for everything. We've even renamed them I Manchester United. That's a little bit of banter. We have kept Old Trafford the same, but money-wise, we have got a hell of a lot. I've cleared all of the debt from the club, so as any Man U fan knows, the club can literally just run itself without any debt. So I've cleared that debt. Mr. Apple has himself. We've given 632 million in the bank account. The transfer budget, I believe I said it was to 250, but I have banned the first window. There is no Ronaldo in the squad. So the squad is up to date as of today. Uh, this is the Friday. The England game is on. Um, but income wise, we have also given us a massive, um, I don't know if it's going to show here, but there's a shirt sponsor of 999 million over the next 10 years. So the money shouldn't stop here. Money should flow in very easily for United as it should in real life. As I said, Ten Hag is going to get to stay in charge. He hasn't got Ronaldo. He's not been much use anyway, so it'll be interesting to see how this first Premier League season go. Today, we're going to go forward one year, two years, five years, and 10 years. If you guys want to see a much more future Manchester United and see how it does long term, I can go 20, uh, 50, very potentially 100 years, but I imagine there'll be a video of 20 and 50. If you guys smash the record likes on the channel so far, if we can get 10, 15, 20 likes, I'll be absolutely buzzing and I'll get a second part out for this in the middle of next week by the time I am done simming. So like I said, it's up to you guys to see if you want to see more of this experiment. Let's go forward one year, see how Ten Hag does at these tricky reds. Well, we are one year in and Man City and Guardiola have parted ways. Is that because... Ten Hag has taken United to the top and City could not deal with it. It's very interesting and something I have not seen very often. I mean, City won the league, so obviously Guardiola just fancied taking some time off and getting out. Let's have a look at the new club, I, Man United. Okay, so Ten Hag's not in charge, but my favourite striker of all time, Ruud van Nistelrooy, is in charge as manager. Now, I'm going to put that down to Ten Hag, maybe not having the best time as manager, um, he come in, Ten Hag was sacked after just 159 days, the 22nd of October. So this Premier League season obviously did not go great. Steve McLaren come in as a caretaker. And now the absolute legend that is, Ruud van Nistelrooy has come in. And I can see he won the Europa League as well. So it's Europa League glory for United this season. That is all well and good. Uh, finances wise, things look absolutely fine. We've got 300 and 12 million in the bank. So either I've done something wrong or we've spent some unbelievable money. We have spent <laughs> some unbelievable money. 431 million to be exact. Uh, and 260 million on Raphael Liao. 260 million on one player. What on earth is going on? Right, let's go through these then. So Facundo Krupski has signed from uh, the Arsenal Argentinian team. Uh, PNF has come in from Kriya Stotitov in Russia in the Premier League over there. Uh, Sebastian Quates has come in for 20 million. Mehdi Taremi has come in. Uh, the Iranians beat in Wales today. A very interesting result. A sign we all want Man U to make in real life. Diogo Costa has come in. The fantastic Portuguese goalkeeper. Evan Ilsen has come in as a striker. 14 games, 6 goals for him. And Rafael Liao. Rafael Liao, 260 million. That is never going to be beaten. 260 million. I mean, a fair play. Had a decent season last year. 
But I think money has got to Man U's head, maybe just a little bit. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if the second season has quite as much money going in. Let's have a look at the Premier League then. How did we get on last year? We come ninth. So it was an absolute stinker and 12 points off that Europa Conference League. But luckily, because we won the Europa League, we are in the Champions League next year and things must get off to a real stand. I just want to check, did anyone in the league make anything close to 260 million? No. 200 million more than the next highest is interesting. Uh, an interesting strategy for Man U, to say the least. Uh, if we can, we look at the profile for last year. Let me see if I can find the top goal scorers, etc., for the 22 season. So the top goal scorer last season was Raheem Sterling at Chelsea with 24 goals in 35 games. Salah in second and Haaland with a very modest uh, 19 in 32. Uh, young player, player's young player was Haaland. Uh, team of the year, did we get anyone in? Yeah, we didn't come in ninth. It was Edison, Walker, Diaz, Silva, Cancelo, Foden, De Bruyne, Silva, Salah, Haaland and Raheem Sterling up front. Uh, manager of the year, Unai Emery at Aston Villa. Fair enough to Villa. And player of the year was Mohamed Salah. Golden Glove falling to Aaron Ramsdale in the Premier League. But we are here for Manchester United. And how did the season go then last year? Wow, that is a lot of red. Uh, one win against Arsenal and then not a win in the league until the 1st of October. Um, so that is not fantastic. Uh, and you can see why Mr. Ten Hag has in fact been sacked around the 22nd and 2 0 loss to Everton was his last. Since then, though, a hell of a turnaround of form. Steve McLaren and Ruud van Nistelrooy doing absolute bits. It looks like we got knocked out in the EFL Cup to Chelsea. Semi-final, so close to a final there. Uh, FA Cup, I can see we actually got to the final of that as well. Sadly, a 2-1 loss to Man City. And that man, Erling Haaland, getting the goals in that one. But a 1-0 win in the Europa League final. A goal from Jason Sanchez himself. Put in United into the Champions League. Fantastic result there for the boys. How did our boys get on last season, top goal scorers wise? I imagine it was a little bit difficult. How did Martial get on last year? Let's have a little look. Uh, six goals, not fantastic for Tony. Uh, obviously, Rafael out has just signed. Uh, Jason Sanchez, nine goals for Jaden is good to see. Uh, one thing I'm interested in seeing as well is where did Cristiano Ronaldo end up? Did he end up at Real Madrid? He did not. It was Juventus, and it looks like he had a stinky old time as well. A 6.7 for Ronnie, eight goals and one, uh, eight games and one goal for him. So not a great move there for him. He retired from international football as well on the day of the World Cup final. Now in real life, he said if they won the World Cup, he would retire. They didn't win the World Cup this time around, though, sadly for the French. Can we see the different stages? I do not know how to do that. Yes, I do indeed. The final was France-Croatia. Interesting final there. Third place, Spain versus Holland. Uh, so that's a good thing. Where did England come? Where did Portugal come as well? I haven't seen Portugal just yet. It looks to me like Portugal maybe didn't even get out of the group. England lost to Holland in the first round. I Meaning we must have come second. We did to the USA. He won all nine points. Now that game in real life kicks off very closely for me. Portugal come bottom of their group with just one point. So old Cristiano has had a stinky old time of things. Let's go forward another year and see how Rude's Tricky Reds have got on. Right then, Rude van Nistelrooy, my absolute... Go have a striker. How have you got on at I Manchester United? Uh, you are still in charge, thank God. That is good to see. Let's have a little look at the Premier League. Man City won it again. I can't say I am too surprised. Oh, we come eighth. Oh, no. So it's the Europa Conference League for us. That is not good at all. A very poor season for Rude. I'm surprised he's still in the job. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say he won something. Um, he didn't. He won the Super Cup. But other than that, I have no idea how Rude is still in a job. You can see he's now captain Bruno Fernandes, vice-captain Marcus Rashford. Transfers-wise, was anything wild done? Just the one. Uh, that is obviously, we signed Rafael Leal and Sebastian Quartes in this time as well. So it looks like it's not a lot, but it is 330 million, 350 million. Uh, Jeremy Pino, though, what a signing 
That is a player I like very, very much in real life. Had a decent year as well. 32 games, three goals, eight assists on a 7.29. So a decent signing there in Jeremy Pino. But what went wrong last season for the boys then? Looks like the Champions League, we had Ludogretz, Leipzig and Zagreb. Looks like we got through that fairly easily. EFL Cup third round, we lost to Chelsea. Not a good thing to see. Uh, FA Cup third round, we drew to Crew. Well, that's not great. Uh, ended up beating them both in the third round replay and beating Bristol as well. Champions League, we had PSG and we knocked them out on penalties. It was that man, Rafael Leal, a Scott Mac Tomine. You get it? Mac Tomine uh, getting sent off in this one in the 55th minute, but the boys holding on strong and knocking out PSG. Also, beat Man City in the FA Cup on penalties. Quarter final, Jaden Sancho. Liverpool in the F Champions League and we lose to them. And we lose to Palace in the semis of the FA Cup. So it was an absolute stinker in them two games, which is not good to see. Uh, Premier League wise vote, how did things happen? How did things go on? Who were the award winners? Let's have a little look. Football of the year, Bernardo Silva, very good player. Golden Glove was Edu Mendy, manager of the year. Stefano Poli took over as Man City manager. That is quite interesting to see. Bernardo Silva seems to have wiped it up. Uh, Mikel Mourinho and Salah, the only players in the player of the year that are not Man City. And Haaland eventually getting that uh, player of the season. Let's have a little look at, then at world player of the year as well. Interesting to see that always. Um, where is that world player of the year? Robert Lewandowski getting it then. 2023. What interesting turn up for the books that is. Um, I actually think it's this one, which is more important. Yep, this is the Ballon d'Or, sorry. World Football of the Year. Mo Salah coming first. Lewandowski second and Haaland in third. No sign of Bernardo Silva there. Second season, not as interesting. Let's go forward three, four, five seasons and the last sim of this video and see how United get on in 2027, 28, whatever it will be. Bang then, five years into the future is the 30th of June, 2027. I am now a 28-year-old man. That is horrible to say and not something I say lightly either. Zidane's career trajectory, not gone fantastic sitting as the manager of Wren. We're not here though for Zidane. We're here for Manchester United or Ironman United, as I like to call them, as they are now owned by Apple. Fantastic facilities and Rude is still here, which must mean, oh, it doesn't. I was going to say it must mean only one thing, but there's still only 20 Premier League titles, so it's not one of the Prem. But Rude is still in a job, and how I would love to see King Rude up top for Manchester United. Let's have a little look at the team. Diego Costa is still in goal. Riddle Baku at right back. Giorgio Scalvini and Antonio Rudiger at centre back. Josco Vardio at left back. Hey Jude is in CDM. I am in love with this team. Bruno Fernandes, Fabian, Jeremy Pino, uh, Raphael, Rasmus Hoyland up front. He is an absolute unit in himself. He is the better version of Haaland. Don't let anyone tell you any different. Uh, Bezo, Lloyd Kelly, Anthony's still at the club. Rashford is still at the club. 115 goals up for Rashi now. And he has done very, very well recently. Fair play to you, Mr. Marcus Furlan, Mendy, Yunus Munzer, Hugo Juro, Christian Eriksen, what a legend. Still five years in the future. Balling out at United. Who else is here? Uh, Hannibal is listed. Ah, oh, Hannibal, it didn't work, did it, son? Didn't go great for young Hannibal. Um, uh, Genduzzi, weird one. Leo Ostergaard, Diego Dallo still here. And Dombele, Isaac Hansen Aaron. He's played a few games for Man U. A little bit respectable. A absolute baller in real life, by the way, is Hansen Aaron. A very good player. Toby Collier. Has come through. Hasn't played any games as of yet. Shola Chora tier 8, just 11. I did see Kobe Mainu as well. Just the seven games for young Kobe. But oh my God, does he look good. Fantastic side then. As Rude is still here, we can guarantee there's been a Premier League title come to United. That is horrible to see, isn't it? It's a Man City period of dominance. Oh no, Man City. They've absolutely sweeped up. And it looks like United haven't even come in the top three. So we might have new owners, but they're not very uh, ambitious. Because Rude is still in a job, uh, which is interesting to see. Uh, nothing interesting really in the Premier League going on. No one wild is here, unless I cannot see them. 
Um, why is Rude still in a job then? What has he done? Uh, where we go? History managers Rude. Uh, he's won a Carabao and he's won a Europa Conference League. So he's brought another uh, European trophy to United. Not the one you want to win. But I suppose we can say we've ticked off the Champions League, Europa League and the Europa Conference League. It would be good to see if Rude can do that too. Uh, but he has won a Carabao. Um, I mean, I, I don't even really know why he's still here, if I'm honest. I'm not massively impressed with you, Rude. I can't lie. I love you in real life. But... I mean, you come top four last season, so I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that, you know, back in the Champions League. Year before that, seventh. Year before that, fifth. Year before that, eighth. And the first season, ninth. So, rude. Fix up, son. This season is a big one for you. And we need you to go absolutely wild. Let's see if we are spending outrageous money still. Uh, 267 million last year. 293 million the year before that. 337 million the year before that. The outlier of 69 million, but I suppose it's also 350 million, isn't it? And a January spending around, uh, what is that, 50, 90, 150 million as well. It was pretty outrageous. So the Apple money has been good to Man U. The spending has not stopped. And if you guys want to see this carry on, I'll go forward 10, 15, 20, 25, and possibly. 50 years into the future if you guys do want to see it smash the likes on this video for me and i'll get that done for you subscribe to the channel if you are brand new and i'll speak to you all next time